Welcome to Planet Elgo, where we discuss all things Algorand. Today is the last of a series of tutorials I've been doing on the official Algorand wallet. We will mostly be looking at settings and rewards. So first off, let's go ahead and open up the official Algorand wallet. Here we have our six digit pen, and as you know by now, if you've been following, mine is very complicated. <laughs> And now all of you saw that my passcode was very simple and I have advised you to make sure that yours is really difficult to guess. However, maybe I should follow my own advice. To do such, I'm gonna come down to the bottom right corner here and with that little hexagon, I'm gonna click on it and that brings up our settings and in there, I'm gonna set, hit set change password. Actually, it should be set change passcode. Here it tells us choose passcode. I'm going to go from the very difficult 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9. It'll ask me to do it twice. And now if I was to leave the app and come back into it, and you can see it has my new difficult passcode. Let's go through the rest of that settings section. Enable Face ID, Touch ID. These are really just features for your convenience. It's up to you if you would like to enable them or not. Notifications. Notifications are done at an asset level. So remember that in our official Algorand wallet here, you can see here if I look at Planet Algo and tutorial account to the left of them, I have two wallets. Remember that each wallet can store different types of assets. Algos are the default assets that are required of every wallet. When I come over to my notifications, the notifications are controlled at a wallet level. So I can turn off push notifications for the entire app, or I can have show notifications for each wallet. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as it is. Remember that the notifications come through when I complete a transaction of any type, be it adding an asset or sending one out. The next thing we have here is to show rewards. We will come back to this later though, after we've covered the rest of the settings. We have our language setting next which has one of eight different languages that you can choose from. Very nice. We also have our currency setting, which as far as I can tell has possibly every currency in the world. We have our theme. You can see I have it on a dark theme right now, but if we wanted to, we could change it to light or we could make it match whatever's default to the system. This may be an Android feature. I believe iOS might have it though. I am not sure. And then we have a support center, which is really just a link to the Algorand wallet site. We have the ability to rate the Algorand wallet on iOS that would take you to the App Store. On this Android phone, it'll take you to Google Play. And then a link to the terms of service and privacy policy. Last but not least, we have the developer settings. Now remember that when I went into developer settings, this allowed me to go into what's called the test net. And remember that every wallet that you make exists on the main net. That's the live version where all the real value is in the test net. And the test net is kind of a place that's exactly like the main net, except for there's no value. And what you have in test net is not related to what you have in main net. I.e. in test net, I can have a different amount of algos than I do in main net. And that's perfectly fine. Testnet allows developers or anybody to go out and test the Algorand network. And so if this was ever concern, you would say, oh my gosh, I've lost my uh, 1 million algos I have. Fear not. Remember up here by accounts, if you can see my finger pressing, it says testnet. All you have to do is come back down here, go to developer settings. You can hit the node setting and go back to name mainnet. And in my case, my... 0 0.20 algos are back at 0 0.448. In your case, your million would be there. Now, developer settings, if you're not comfortable using this, I would recommend you know not worrying about it. It's not something that you need to do. It is just a fun little thing. And since we're doing an official Algorand wallet tutorial, I decided to cover it. If we come to the bottom here, well, we went over this before, this is our contacts. We can simply search our contacts by name, or if we wanted to add somebody, we could go ahead and add them by pasting uh, their account address in or scanning the QR code for their account address. If you have forgotten how to get that, remember that when you come back and look at a wallet, up here you can see Planet Algo. If I go over to the right, I can click on that, and right there is my share QR. That is my address. And then they can go ahead and set me up with appropriate account name. And then also we have the notifications down here. These notifications at the bottom 
This just goes through what has happened on the account. Last but not least, rewards. Now, to earn rewards in <coughs> on the Algorand network, you need to at least have one algo. Since both of these accounts do not have one algo, you can see that they are not earning rewards at this time. However, when we look at rewards, we could also, of course, come into the testnet because the testnet is just like the main network. And so even though I'm on testnet, I'm just using this so I have an account to show you that's earning rewards. Remember that the, what I'm about to say holds true for the main network. So if I come into testnet and you can see I have two assets, I have the planet algo here and I have the algos in the planet algo wallet. And in one of my tutorials, I showed you how we made the planet algo. And you can see that I have my algos here and I have this nice little reward down here. So on average, Algorand is paying about five and a half to 6% in rewards to an account. Very nice. And what happens is, is when the app looks at this, this is very important. It is adding your rewards into your total algorithm. So when you see this, I have 9.999729 algos and I have 0 .000729 in rewards. This 0 .000729 in rewards has already been added to my total. And we can actually see that because right here down below, I have my first transaction where I sent myself 10 test algos from the Algorand dispenser. And then I added an asset. And to add any asset requires a transaction fee. Of, it's a, it was a zero transaction, so I sent zero transaction, but it does have a transaction fee of 0 .001 algo. So 10 minus 0 .001 is 9.999. But my total algos are 9.999729. Okay, so you can see they added that 729. This is very important for everybody to know. These algo rewards right here they are not compounding interest so right now for my account my algos the algos that are earning me rewards are 9.999 okay however i technically have 9.999729 so now what we want to do to compound this is we need to send ourselves a zero transaction and this is very easy all we have to do is come down here to send and we can come over here to our accounts and we can hit planet algo and there's our address and you can see our amount here of zero i'm going to leave this and this transaction is going to cost me 0.001 algo so technically i would not want to compound it yet because it's going to eat all of my rewards However, in a larger account where you're earning more algo, you want to compound it every now and then. So I'm going to add myself a note here, compound test. And I'm going to preview my transaction and then I'm going to send it. And you can see that the transaction is going through on the test net and it should be confirmed pretty soon. And there it is, it's confirmed. And look at what happened to my rewards. My rewards went down to 0, 0.00. And you can see right here, I actually captured my rewards. And when I say I captured them, remember before that, just like up here, it showed me it up here in the account total. But it had not been officially added to my wallet until I did that zero transaction. Every time you do any transaction, Algorand will automatically send your rewards to your account. So the last thing I want to show now is in here, remember that show rewards? If I turn this off, when I come into here now, you can see that it does not have my rewards. It has my rewards here. You might say, hey, I said not to show rewards. That is not what it's talking about. What it's saying is it's not going to show your rewards in your transactions. And the reason for this is remember that every time you transact, Every single time you transact, you're going to be getting some rewards. So if you have an account, okay, that has a lot of transactions in it, you're going to have a ton of show rewards line. You get annoyed at seeing those in your transactions. Maybe you like, I don't want to see these. Then you can go ahead and you can turn that off. Uh, I'll show you again. Come down to the bottom. 
and show rewards right there. Okay, and I can click that. So now remember I'm on the test net because my real accounts did not have enough to compound any algo. And let's go back to the regular one where I have all my money in these beautiful test accounts. 0.2 algo and 0.448. And again, remember, these do not collect rewards. You need at a minimum one algo. Okay, well, that's it for today. If you liked the video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe. Also, if you have any comments or questions, just let me know. And if these videos are too long for you, I do plan on taking uh, a series like this and then summing it up real quickly, just running through everything and trying to do it as quick as possible. For those of you that are beginners, you may enjoy these type of videos. For those of you who are like, wow, just get to the point, you might like those videos. I will be posting one soon. I'm going to take the first four videos from this category and I'm going to try to crunch it into just one 10-minute video. Everybody have a great day and I'll see you next time.